God is not a supporting actor in my life movie. The Bible's not about you. I have been cast as a player in his unfolding story of redemption. And we've got that reversed today. Here's what you, you'll keep infusing yourself into the stories of the Bible like you're the hero. And so a way of reading the Bible that always makes man the hero and not an, the acts of God the hero. I, I think if you mess that up, then you're reading the Bible entirely wrong because the, the Bible wants to consistently get your eyes off of you and onto a God who is able. So it's not you that are able, it's God that's able. And, and so the, I think David and Goliath, you're right, it's just a perfect story for it. Then anytime you hear the David and Goliath story, you're hearing about how you're David. In order for David to become David, he needed Saul. Stop despising Saul. You need Saul. You need people to hate on you. You need the people to tear you up. Thank God for Saul, because if you got a Saul, that makes you David. I want to be straight. I love you enough to be straight. You're not David. So I'm David and the Goliath is my debt or it's my difficult marriage or it's my boss at work. We're going to keep our distance from our enemy and sling our stones until every Goliath falls down in our life. I'm going to grab the stone of faith and I'm going to sling it at my giant of this boss at work and I'm going to slay and I'm going to hold up his head. You're going to defeat that giant. Yes, that obstacle is big, but you have greatness in you. And that would be a very narcissistic way to, to read the Bible. But in a Christ-centered hermeneutic, we're going to approach the Bible and go, okay, what's going on in this very true story? Um, it, it appears here that there's something that is terrifying and, and that on the surface it looks like it cannot be killed. And yet it, it's overcome by this man who, by faith, killed what couldn't be killed. And, and now we're on to a thread, right? Like, like who, what's more undefeatable than sin and death? What David was doing was enacting the justice of God on the enemies of God for the victory and salvation of God's people who did absolutely nothing but be afraid and terrified to approach the enemies of God. You know who conquers our giants? Christ conquers our giants. It's not me that conquers my giants. Like the great giant of my life, sin and death, cannot be conquered by me picking up a stone of faith and throwing it, but by the finished work of Christ who conquered death with a single shot.